Linear regression is a statistical method that is used for predictive analysis. It makes predictions for continuous or numeric variables, such as daily sales, monthly salary, and product price. It shows a linear relationship between a dependent variable, or y, and an independent variable, or x, which means it finds how the value of the y is changing according to the value of x. If there is a single independent variable, it's a type of linear regression called simple linear regression. If there are more than one independent variable, it's multiple linear regression. The relationship between the x and y variables are explained using the best fitting line called the regression line. A popular strategy to calculate the regression line is the least squares regression method. It basically draws a line that has the least sum of vertical distances between each data point and the line. For accuracy, it uses the equation of a line y equals mx plus b, where y determines how far up and x is how far along the line. The m represents the slope or how steep the line is, and b is the y-intercept which is where the line crosses the y-axis. The regression line can either show positive or negative linear relationship. The positive linear relationship is when both the dependent and independent variables increase. For example, as height increases, you would expect weight to increase, but not perfectly. On the other hand, the negative linear relationship is when the dependent variable decreases and the independent variable increases. For example, as the amount of smoking increases, you would expect lung function to decrease but not perfectly. Let's have a look at a simple linear regression example. Suppose John recorded the number of hours of sunshine and the number of popsicles sold from Monday to Friday. He learned that 8 hours of sunshine is predicted on Saturday. He would like to know how many popsicles he needs to prepare. Let's find the best m or slope and b or y-intercept that suits the collected data. Step 1, for each x, y, calculate x squared and x, y. For the x squared column, we multiply the value in hours of sunshine by itself. For the x, y column, we multiply each number of hours of sunshine with a popsicle sold. Step 2, sum x, y, x squared, and x, y. In this example, this row has the sum for every column. Step 3. Calculate slope or m. This is the formula that we will use to determine the slope. The n is the number of data values. For this example, it's 5. We use the computed values in the table. The result is 1.567. Step 4. Calculate y-intercept or b. This is the formula that we will use to determine the y-intercept. Again, the n is the number of data values. For this example, it's 5. We use the computed values in the table. The result is negative 0.402. Step 5. Assemble the equation of a line. We now know that the m is 1.567 and b is negative 0.402. Therefore, this is our equation. Let's look at the graph of the x-y points based on the given problem. Let's also use the equation to draw the regression line. Here, we have two additional columns. Using the equation, we have the prediction for every x value. Comparing the given y and the computed y, we find the error value. At this point, let's see the data point with the regression line on the graph. To answer the problem, which is how many popsicles John will prepare for a Saturday that is predicted with 8 hours of sunshine, he will use the equation y equals 1.567x minus 0.402. The result is 12.938. Therefore, John can prepare at least 13 popsicles. I hope this video helped you in understanding the concept of the simple machine algorithm called linear regression. The next video will be about the decision tree algorithm. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.